Joining me now is our French politics editor, Mark Perelman, to tell us a bit more. And Mark, we know these reforms are unpopular in the streets, but what about in Parliament? How much support do you think they have? Well, uh, two or three weeks ago, the government thought uh, that it had the votes in Parliament uh, to push uh, through this uh, reform uh, because they essentially made a deal with the Conservative uh, MPs and this was enough uh, to uh, carry them over uh, the absolute majority in the National Assembly and uh, they also have the votes in the Senate. However, this has changed in recent days because some of the uh, MPs of um, Emmanuel Macron's party or alliance are having doubts about whether this is a good reform, this protects uh, really everyone, or this is essentially a financial uh, reform, and they've said so publicly. And in addition, the conservatives with whom they uh, reached that deal, some of them, a sizable number of them, and a growing number of them, are saying, well, maybe this is not thought out, uh, we should really reconsider it. So even in Parliament, uh, where they seem to have a clear pathway, there are some doubts as we begin today to examine uh, this uh, bill. Uh, this is supposed to last 50 days maximum. The government has chosen an expedited uh, legislative process to make sure it goes through Parliament because they know, in addition uh, to the obstacles in Parliament, what they want is the law to be uh, adopted as soon as possible because they know a lot of it will depend also on the streets. Indeed, and as you've been talking, we're looking at images just behind you of the protests uh, 10 days or so ago. Um, they were big protests, weren't they? Over a million people turned out. Now, there, there are more protests tomorrow. Do you think we're going to see such large numbers out in the streets again? And if so, what kind of impact is that going to have? Uh, the answer is, I believe so. Uh, it's true, everyone was surprised uh, by uh, the uh, strikes and demonstrations uh, 10 days ago, even the unions didn't expect such a turnout. And uh, we're hearing the unions, they're, first of all, they're staying united. That's not always been the case. The eight main unions are united. They're all calling for the same strikes, same demonstrations as of now. So you have a united union front. And the polls are showing that uh, public opinion is more and more opposed uh, to the reform and is more and more in favor of the social movement. So uh, it, it means that there'll probably be lots of people on the streets and on strike. Uh, tomorrow, the obvious question is what happens after. Uh, will the unions all agree uh, to keep the same dates of strike? Will some unions want to have more strikes uh, on a rolling basis, like every day in the transport system, like we've seen in the past? That's the big question, Mark. The government is betting uh, that there might be a hardening of the movement, even some violence, and that this could shift uh, public opinion and saying, OK, we might not like this pension reform, but we don't want chaos, we don't want mayhem. And so this is what the government is counting on. But it's a very fragile platform uh, to rely on uh, because essentially what they failed to do is uh, to win over the French, even those who might have been in favor of the reform. Uh, clearly, this is a major, major gamble for Emmanuel Macron. This is only the beginning of his second mandate. If he blinks, if he concedes, uh, people might say, OK, it might be more intelligent politically, but it means he becomes instantly a lame duck. All right. Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Sounds like it's going to be a crucial day. Thanks very much, Mark Perelman, our French politics editor, for us there.